I'm really hoping we're about getting to the end of this whole conspiracy theory thing. And what I mean is, I'm hoping that the public will soon wake up to the fact that any time a mega criminal, either a corporation or an individual, is about to get caught for their crimes or an investigation starts into their crimes, the press and the media and the entertainment world and the talking heads and the pundits and the social media sock puppets all come out and accuse everyone of being a conspiracy theorist. It's getting ludicrous. Everything they don't like is a conspiracy theory. When in reality, as I've been watching the pattern, all, nine times out of 10, the things that they call conspiracy theories are actually real crimes going on that they don't want you to find out about, period. End of story. Everything from assassinations to mass scale environmental degradations to individual murders to human trafficking to child exploitation, these things have all been written off as conspiracy theories. And I'm telling you, most of them aren't. This is just the handy dandy way they bury stories nowadays. And I don't know if you've noticed, but they're so, they're ramping this up to a degree that's outrageous. Anybody questioning uh, the election results in the United States when there is massive evidence of shenanigans and fraud, those people are all conspiracy theorists. The whole notion of even asking whether an election might have been tampered with is a conspiracy theory. Um, the most dangerous one, and the one I'm going to be talking about today, is this Great Reset. Build Back Better and the Great Reset. They're calling both of those things conspiracy theories now. They're saying, well, okay, you know, they exist, but they're good things. And the conspiracy theorists are running wild with them. So it's the same game all over again. This is just a conspiracy theory. Don't pay any attention to the negative talk about the Great Reset. Go back to sleep. Don't look too closely at it, because if you do, we'll call you a conspiracy theorist too. And that's the worst thing ever in the world to be called, apparently.